Hello and welcome to things happening around the world in three minutes or less. Let's go. Okay, so the most important thing currently taking place or one of the most important things currently taking place around the world is the COPE that's taking place in Myanmar by the military. You know, something similar happened in 2016 by the Turkish um, military. You know, they wanted to overthrow the government. Um, that's this is one of the things you know like military when it, they take control into their own hands uh, that it, this is one of the worst thing that could happen to a country you know it gives it takes away the freedom from the people to decide who the, their leader is anyways in Turkey you know their leader got on apps and uh, he told the public was happening so the public's got on road and they were able to stop the military so when people got there you know they were able to stop the cope However, in Myanmar, you know, unfortunately, it seems like that's a little different there. So right now, if I, I was on Twitter. I read a bunch of people saying that, you know, that the military and the police are arresting people at night, you know, so there's not too much attention on it. But it's already spreading. Even CNN recorded it, you know, that some people are getting arrested at night in Myanmar. From what I know is the military saying, you know, that in the election there was fraud. But if there is fraud, let the courts handle it, you know, don't take it into your own control. That aside, World Health Organization tweeted that, as you know, the independent expert team to study the origins of COVID-19 virus has completed its trip to China. So from what I know is here and there, they're reporting that, that, that what they found so far kind of is that they saying that it didn't release from a lab or uh, anything like that, you know. But I don't know. You guys have to do your independent research and come into conclusion this on based on yourself. Here's the, what they said in tweet. This has been a very important scientific exercise in a very difficult circumstances. The expert team is working on a summary report which we hope will be published next week and full final report will be published in the coming weeks. So I guess the public will get to see what they found. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully what they say is true and you know with the vaccine coming it might become like you know season of flu COVID-19 eventually. But it's just so unfortunate, you know, that we got the vaccine now and people are still dying on a daily basis. Uh, hopefully, you know, may God put an end to this. Also in the U.S., the CDC is recommending to reopening the school. Uh, Nancy Pelosi tweeted, we are working to draft to pass $130 billion for a K through 12 students to repair ventilation systems, reduce class sizes, implement social di distances, purchase PPE, hire support staff, help students to make for lost classroom time, close the digital divide. You know, with I feel like COVID is going to be gone, but this is going to have such a long time effect on kids and stuff because they've been away from school but i hope you know by the time kids go school to school most of the people are vaccinated because this virus has decimated the u.s it has killed way more people here than anywhere else in the world uh so anyways guys this is some of the things happening around the world don't forget to subscribe and tune in next time for more